Hey guys, Mr. Wilder, lucky okay, back on another video. Today we're going to be installing the power supply to the motherboard. Not the motherboard, the case. So, all I did was figure out which way up it goes. So it goes up this way. With the logo showing on this side. And the fan's facing the ground, so it'll light up underneath here. Which is pretty cool. And yeah, all I did was slide in through here. So, you shove in. And push it back. Until these line up. Screw holes. Okay, and then we're gonna screw these in. So it does come with four screws. So I'm just gonna put them in now. But yeah, very tight fit. Well, it's not very tight, but when it comes to winding, it's gonna be a headache. Can you see everything's in there? All the way in the back. Uh, this might be very difficult. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. I was thinking to wide it first. Oh, oh yeah, guys. Oh yeah. Oof. I don't even know what the time is. Let's see. 5 a.m. So yeah, that's why I'm tired. But yeah, everything I've just done. Forget about it. You're not gonna be able to fold the wires in it uh, if it's already installed in the motherboard the case i mean so take it out first i'm gonna install the wires first before putting in makes life easier so just gonna go ahead and pull this out okay so in terms of which way i'm gonna put it in the case i've already decided the fan's gonna be at the bottom is an rgb fan so if you do have a case where uh, let me show you oh bloody hell as you can see here, my ARGB fan will be completely covered by this, so it's pointless having it facing up. So, I'm going to have it facing downwards because that's better for the airflow as well anyway. So that'll keep it cool. Air will be drawn in from the bottom and uh, come out the back. And there's already a dust, dust filter on there, so that's even good as well. My case has a dust filter built in on that one. That's really good. So that should be pulling in good cool air. Uh, so yeah, uh, and the ARGB will be facing the floor, so it'll be doing like an underglow effect, which will be pretty cool, I think. So it's not a bad idea, that. So yeah, that's the way I'm going to be doing it, just like that. So we need to install what we need to install. So let's see what wires we need to install. Okay. So, oh, you're going to install anything that you're going to use. So with my CPU, I have two... There's two CPU slash PCIe ports, ports there. Actually, there's four actually. So if you if you have four, I'm dying guys. If you have four, well, you need one for graphics anyway. You can do up to three CPUs basically. Some some CPU hungry motherboards, like EATX extended ATX motherboards, they use three CPU ports. Mine has two CPU ports. I'll show you that. <laughs> Mine only has two, which is in that corner. Can you see them two ports there? So if yours come with two ports, make sure you plug in two ports. Otherwise, you might struggle with the power rating. Because I believe they give 150 watts each. These ports. 150, 150, something like that, yeah. So 150, 300, 450, 600 watts there. And the motherboard was about 80 watts or something. I can't remember. I can't remember the exact figures. But yeah, I think it's 150 per port. So my mother, my uh, processor uses 180. So it's going to need more than one port is in it anyway. But yeah, if you've got two ports, make sure you install two of these. Regardless. So yeah, we'll put the CPU one in first. If I can find it, they're all labeled. So make sure you put the right one in, CPU. Okay. So the side that says CPU, we're going to plug into this actually. No deal. Or will we? Maybe that goes on the... No. This, the side that actually says CPU, that goes on the motherboard. Because that's not going to fit. And if you have a 4 pin, 4 pin, you can actually detach these. As you can see. I'll just plug them in like that, but... Mine's 8 pin, so I'm not going to do that. 
Okay, so you can't get this wrong by the way. You can't get this wrong because look, this side's too big. That is not going to fit in there. So the labeled side, that goes on the motherboard. The unlabeled side goes into the power supply. So as, as I said, we've got two. That's in. You can't really get that wrong. So one CPU side's in. And next CPU, so make sure you get the one that says CPU and put them in the CPU one. Okay, so again, the small side in. Okay guys, uh, small side in, so that'll be that one. Bloody hell. Because we have two CPU pots, like I said, we're going to be using both. If you have three, use all three. It's there for a reason, you know. He only draws as much power as he needs, he won't go over, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so them two pots are in now. Next, we'll plug in the motherboard one, which is the massive fat one. Where is it? This one, just very thick one. Okay, so this one's split actually. So you got this one here and that one there. That's your full motherboard one. So, yeah, like I said, the one that's labeled. Oh, this one's not labeled actually. Never mind. What is it? No, this one's not labelled, but yeah, there's only one part of this anyway, one uh, style of this, so. Okay, motherboard hole. Bloody hell, that's annoying. Literally goes in one way, there's that knob there. You literally can't get this wrong. It can only go in one way. And because it's split, you know that this side goes onto the PC power supply, okay? And then this top bit goes in there. Oh, bloody hell. There you go. <coughs> okay, man, I'm dying. Okay, that's in now, guys. Alright, perfect. Okay. Now, because we are going to plan to install a graphics card one day, we do need to put that graphics card cable in. Otherwise, like I said, you won't be, you'll have to take the full power supply out again to put that wire in. So, for now, we're just going to put the wire in. We're not going to use the wire. We're just plugging it in. So it's not this side, that's not, this side's not going in as you can see because it's got the label on, so we're going to be using Not this side either because that's labelled This is the side that goes into the power supply, this alone side here So we're only going to plug in one of these because uh, That's all we want, bloody hell, that's hot, okay So this bottom one, come on, there you go All the way in, there you go, so that's your power supply, power We're not going to be using this Usually one is enough unless you're using a powerful mod, uh, power supply No power supply, uh, what do you call it, graphics card 3090 and above, they use two usually But then again this has two ports, uh, yeah we'll see But for now, I don't I don't plan to use anything that powerful anyway So one port should be enough for now uh, If I do need to If I do get a powerful one then uh, This power supply is not strong enough anyway, so you know <laughs> 750 watt okay so now SATA cables so normal people they'll plug in only one of these because it does come with four SATA cables but because my motherboard has six SATA cable slots I'm going to be using all six drives so one of these won't be enough because this only covers four and on top of that my SATA this uh, ARGB controller uses a SATA port so that's another port I need seven ports in total seven cables so this comes with four here one two three four that's got another four so i'll have one spare at the end of once everything's installed so yeah this side goes into the motherboard no motherboard power supply so sata pata there you go just plug in here i'm gonna put it on this side just to keep it clean there you go perfect and then get the next one we need to plug the next one in now this is the next sata pata Sata bata. It's a bit messy at the moment, but it is what it is. Even look at the back of this. Look how messy it is. But it is what it is. Uh, I was going to put the RGB in, but I've run out of ARGB ports. And uh, I do have another controller, but I've got nowhere to place it. That I can see. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe the hard drive, Caddy. I don't know. We'll see in the future. But I've ordered some... Uh, ARGB strip so I will need to put that split in some time but I don't know where I can put it it just doesn't seem a good place to put it at the moment so yeah 
figure that out in the future right now it's not a big issue it's just an ARGB you know it's gonna light up anyway I'll have full control of the lights with the button on the back anyway so it's not a big issue and it's just gonna do underglow can't really see it that much whereas the rest of the case will be synced which is good okay so these two cables won't be needed then if you are planning to put the ARGB in you just connect these two wires together and then this side goes into your motherboard the ARGB port I've used all my ARGB ports like I said so can't really do much about that so at the moment I've got everything plugged in that I want there's this cable that's the other PCIe one I'm not going to use that like I said I don't need the extra one and then uh, there's also this one these are patas they're the old style connectors they're for like 3.5 inch hard drives uh, water pumps um, even fans my fans have it as well if you want to use it on the fans so my fans have it but uh, yeah don't really need it if it's not needed don't need to put it in it saves you a bit of space so yeah we got all the wires in now now the hard part getting everything through <laughs> okay yeah trying to get that all to fit in there already it's a tight space because we have all this wiring which was poor design it's not really poor design maybe if it was a bit higher if the case was a bit taller just a tiny bit taller and you have a bit more clearance you could put them wires on the top you know just took it away but yeah see what we're gonna do so all i'm gonna do now is so this side's gonna be on the inside so we need to turn this around i'm just gonna double check everything's plugged in that i want plugged in yep 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 one pcie should be fine i'm gonna plug second pcie in there's no need unless you have a powerful graphics card which i this is not the build for that i'm not planning to do that okay so yeah I'm going to flip this over then, already. So we want this side down where the fan is facing downwards, the ARGB fan. So then that's going to be best at cooling. If you have it facing upwards, it's going to become an exhaust fan instead. Where it'll just be pushing hot air through your case instead. Which is not ideal, but if you got the cooling, go for it. If you want that, and you have the ARGB RGB slot there, that you can see this power supply through. I can't so there's no point even putting it that way it's just a waste of temperatures and everything all right oh bloody hell so yeah this type of uh, mod power supply i have uh, there's just screws uh, this type of power supply i have is called modular where you can put in whatever you want the other ones some more semi-modular where motherboard one will be connected fully like wired in you can't take it out and then they have the full modular ones where you can't take anything out everything's all already what I did <coughs> and they're usually the older style ones <coughs> fucking on die oh yeah we still have antennas to install as well so I'll do that at the end of this video I think if it's successful <coughs> and yeah we can connect one of these SATAs up in a few minutes but yeah oh yeah I've unplugged this SATA cable from here because it kept uh, bending everything so I don't wanna, it kept bending I mean when I was mess messing around with the power supply so I really did not want to break that power, uh, SATA cable you know what I mean or bend it really badly because then it will, it's hard drive you know you'll get, you'll get in trouble from doing that okay so yeah and what I like about MSI you got some really good cutouts in good places that's the one good thing about this case so this case has been quite decent to build with so now let's go ahead and push this in all i'm literally doing is bringing it to the side and then i'm going to move it push in there and maneuver it and then line it up to the back but i need two hands to do this uh, so i don't know if i can show you from the home window i'll leave my phone here see if that helps anyway. okay hopefully you can see it. i don't know what if you can see or can't really tell this is going to be very messy to do with some light I'm kind of messy I'm kind of messy okay power supply nope we don't want that there no light Oof. 
Só tá aqui duas, que eu não coloquei em Reddit. Eu não sou de Gold Server, agora daqui a pouco você sai com a gente, ó. Acho que eu falei, né? Hum. Really bad placement of that sucker cable. I don't know what you can do about that. Just a little bit. Maybe. Okay. Try that again. It's a difficult one. Can be very difficult. Keep the sucker cable out. What the hell? Place all these cables, they're just in the way, guys. It's very difficult to let them in, so I'm gonna see what I can do with the tidying up on that. Alright, guys, after quite a bit of brute force, it finally went in. <coughs> oh, yeah, I did not like doing that because these cables are very bent right now, such a tight fit. <coughs> But yeah, you can't do much about that. That's just the way life is. Okay, so now we need to figure out how we're gonna get all these cables up there. CPU, we need one of these. We need two CPU cables. Where's the second one? Oh, CPU and is that CPU as well? Yep, two CPU. So we need these up there somehow. Pull these up. There you go. Pop that through there. Pop that one through there as well. Oops, just poking right through the metal filter. Make sure should take that off, will that give more light? Oh yeah, that will give us more light at the top so I can see better for now. That's the magnetic filter, okay. So we're gonna set up the CPU. Okay, we'll do CPU first, we'll do one by one. What the hell is this PCIe? So that's for the graphics card, which we don't have, so leave that on the side for now. Okay. Lord the hell, so much wiring. Such a headache. Oh my god. <laughs> Max, you just screw this in now, just to hold this in place. Yeah, we'll screw the power supply in first. Before I go ahead and do this. We've got the four screws there. Uh, let me just line this up a bit better. Okay, we seem to have all of them lined up apart from this bottom right one. Can't seem to see the hole. It looks a bit too high. Uh, let's see, that one's perfect. That one's... Diving a hole. Yeah, it is. That's the hole. So one, two, three, four. The back, bottom right one. It just... Looks like it needs to be pressed down or something. So I'm gonna get that bottom right one in first. Just doesn't look right. Ah, okay. One second, guys. But yeah, that was such a headache. And yeah, can you see? There's wires and stuff stuck in there. So yeah, if I take that out again, that's gonna be dangerous. Probably gonna rip about 50 wires and break them. Because of such a tight fit with the power supply. Oh yeah, it is what it is. Uh, okay. So let me screw this in now. I'm just going to put the bottom one in first. Let me leave this here for you guys to see. Hopefully you can see. Alright, let me figure out. If I can get a little more space here. Okay, 
Time to start screening. Screws. Do this bottom right one first because it keeps moving out of place. Hope you can see this. I don't know how well you can see. I'm not over tightening them just a bit tight. Let's get to the end. Perfect. Now the power supply will move above. And yeah, we know this power supply works in me, so don't trust it. We know the power supply works because we did a BIOS update with it and it spun up and everything, it was lighting up. And yeah, unfortunately we couldn't attach the ARGB, but we do have this RGB controller here. This light, so we can change the light with that. Not an issue. Okay. And yeah, this case has like a standoffs for this. Just to reduce any vibrations, can you see? Which is pretty good, I think. It's a pretty cool design, that. Okay, that's all secure now. Next, we're going to wire this CPU in. Okay. So yeah, also guys I highly recommend this, uh, see what do you call it, this light, night light, reading light, night light, whatever you want to call it, it comes in very handy because you can bend it, it's got a gooseneck, oh, let me move these wires out of the way, and yeah, this PC is very heavy now, before I could lift it. Without breaking my back now. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to check all these connections stayed in because all these bottom bits got moved, didn't it? Make sure everything's still in. This SATA cable's a bit dodgy. I feel like I'm gonna break that SATA port to be honest because how bent it is. Okay, everything's still plugged in fine. What I can tell this wire needs something doing with this. It's just floating up there. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Because hmm. there's fans at the top, we don't want this wire to interfere. Hmm. What can we do with this wire? This wire as well. These two wires need to be moved out the way somehow. Where can we put them? Between the fans. Oh, not enough space. Uh, oh wait, we can shove it at the back there. So I'm just going to shove it through the back there. Okay, while I was doing that, something just popped off. Ooh, ARGB has popped off from where though? Shit, where did I just unplug that from now? Fuck's sake. Damn it. Where's the ARGBs now? I am a donkey. It looks like it come out of a controller to be fair. Ah, let's have a look. One, two, three plugged in. With the three plugged in there. Hmm. Unless this was never plugged in. I don't know guys. Hmm. 
that's my SATA cable I really don't know guys where the fuck did this come from was this plugged in not I have to get the other splitter out for the RGB looks like it Cause I can't seem to find the RGB slot let's have a look always falling into trouble guys always problem 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 okay can't see any ARGBs wait a minute was both of this shit could I come out no it's just the uh, lighting so this fan header things okay still all right let's have a look quickly if I can spot anything Oh, the J R G B J R G B one. Oh no, we need J Rainbow, not R G B. Okay, so that can't be used. All right. What do I do with this cable? This cable is just floating. So that cable I push through the back there. This cable we have to do the same. I'll push it through this one here actually. Right, let me sort this cable out a bit. Okay, the cable is sorted, I think. I just want everything out of the way of the fans basically. This will not interfere with any of the fans. I'll just keep that low just in case as well, extra. So it doesn't interfere with the fans, 100% doesn't interfere. Should be okay, I think. Should we hook on to this one? That'll be better, actually. Yeah. And then maybe a second hook here. Yeah, that's better. So we'll hook on this one. Hook on that side. Okay, that won't interfere with anything. And the rest of the way it goes down here, which is fine. All right. Uh, these will be touching the fans. Not even the top one. That's fine. Nothing interfering with these top fans. That's fine. Should be all good on the wiring now. Now it's just the ARGB one extra one we need to find. If we can't, then we're gonna have to put that splitter in. God damn it! All right. Okay, guys. Yeah, RGB is all taken up. So we did want miss one of the RGBs out actually, which is my bad. Uh, so yeah, gonna have to get the splitter out. Well, where the fuck do we put the splitter? That's the other issue. Yeah, okay. Give me a second, guys. We're gonna have to install a splitter now. Now, oh, guys, this is the Chinese splitter we bought ages ago. So it's a one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. That's ten AR, ten ARGB slots, guys. Which is mental. But since we're installing that, oh, I was gonna say we've got to install the ARGB on this, but I've already put that in now. Damn it! We're gonna install this ARGB kit. Want on the back side? Let's have a look. <coughs> this one I means it's it has got three M, but need somewhere to put it. That's too close. We need a space actually. Can't put it on the motherboard. There's really no actual chassis place for this to put it. Oh, let me make sure I don't break any of these cables. Yeah, bloody hell. Okay, let's have a look. That one's just stood there. Yeah, can we put another one of these? Put it. Nope. I'm trying to think guys. This one I mean this is the problem with this. Uh, what a shit. What a shit thing guys. Unless I use just one side of this. No, I can't even use one side, it's not enough space. Uh don't know what to do guys. 
Tommy loved the space. Bastards. If this was a bit more down or something, this one I mean if the case had a bit more inches, sure we would be okay. But maybe we'll should we install on this side the inside? Let's have a look. Oh bloody hell. Alright, we have space to install it on the inside, but do I really want to do that? Could just put it here if you wanted to. Hmm. Do we do that guys? What do you think? Will it interfere with any of my PCIe slots actually? Might be better to put it here. Hmm. Maybe here. Or at the edge. Just so it doesn't interfere with the hard drives. Hmm. Nope. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe there. Oh, let's see. But it's gonna be visible, that's the only issue. Put it here, but right at the back. Here ish. Yeah, I think it might go there. That might be the best spot for it. Alright, let's see what we're gonna do. Okay, so ARGB controller. I don't even know if this works, I've never tested it. So that's always another element. One second guys. Okay. I don't know what the SATA ports for though. Does that also provide power? Hmm. I don't know, but we're not gonna use it. We'll just use the actual ARGB, so yeah. Unfortunately we're gonna have to put it inside here. Just like that. That should be fine actually. And then where do we take the power from? Which one is the actual splitter? I wanna I don't want a splitter plugged into a splitter, that's the only thing, so let me see which one's just the random It'd be best if I could just take the top one. If I could just take that top one, it would be the best. So let's see where this top one goes. That goes there. to this wire so yeah that is just the pan at the top the top one so that's lucky loose lucky escape so i'm gonna plug that into there actually so take that out for now okay so that's gonna go in the splitter now so i need to stick the splitter down first see that i came from wanting to install a power supply to having to rework the entire chassis what the hell guys just to make an ARGB work oh okay, guys so I was peeling on this paper and I realized why the fuck have they put 3M on there like a donkey because I thought this was a protector which it is kind of looks like it so why the hell because then the 3M is not useless. One second, let me figure this out. I'm going to have to put my own 3M on it. Okay guys, I managed to take it off. It's not the best. Uh, don't know if that'll stick well anymore, but it's what we have to deal with. Hopefully it sticks well enough. I'm going to press this down a bit. Now it's time to stick on the bottom side. So I want it roughly around 24 at the back of here. Yeah, I guess it's going there. Stick that down onto the case. Doesn't look the best, but it is what it is. What can we do? It's life. Okay, now this one. Oh, I take it to the back there actually. 
then we'll bring you up through there and then put that in the top one where's that demo yeah this one okay well we're gonna uh, maybe yeah we got it okay all right we managed to get it not bad at all okay so now we need to plug this into the jrgb which is that one there three pins that will do in control yeah that's all the in very flimsy port though i'll tell you that and then excess wire shove it through there okay and then this is the other rgb to plug into there the one we just took off and then we got the other additional one here that we need to plug into the bottom as well now oh if we really reach the bottom that's another question guys always oh, headache bloody hell guys oh, bloody hell we got one installed there's the top one and we got another one to install bloody hell where's the other one that we just pushing through before somewhere here to find it and then install that one the one that we took off mm, quite a mess down here bloody hell the fuck do I put the wire? Another one here somewhere. Need to figure out where it is and find it. Well, guys, after some moving about, finally got down. Sometimes I'm a bit of a donkey. Because, uh, yeah, I'm making my life harder. I just have to take one screw out. Move the hard drive out to place me while I do that. I am a donkey, but yeah, I moved quite a few things about just to make it all fit. Fucking hell, that was a mistake. <sighs> it's nearly seven o'clock now. I've been here this for hours. All this headache. Okay, time to put this hard drive back in. If I can even find the screw now, what the hell have I done with that? I'm sat on it probably. Me, we'll find it. Okay, that's in place. I'll find the screw. Hmm. Can you guys see it? I don't see it. Have I gone blind? No, oh, there it is. Found it. Easy install screw. And now we go back to business. What the hell? Come on, you bastard. There you go. What the hell? Adding so many fans actually creates a lot of problems. Which I only realise now. But yeah, it is what it is. <coughs> but yeah, all the ERGB is sorted again now. Everything will have some sort of lighting. Which is good. Uh, we shouldn't interfere with the hard drive. Uh, let's have a look. Anything gonna hit the fan? Nope. That won't interfere with anything there, that's just a wire. Where's the other fan? Fan, not gonna touch the fan that. That's fine. This cable won't touch fan either. Yep, we should be, okay. Alright. Now we need to figure out these power, these CPU cables, how to plug them in. Can you see them right at the top? Where did I push them in? there so i need to push them in there can you see them two holes so i'm just gonna maneuver it in and then push them in place it's gonna be a bit difficult because it's tight but i should be able to get in okay one of them's in can you see we bent the wire fully upside down to push it in but yeah that was a headache uh now we have another headache because this way is in the way move that way there you go now I need to get this other CPU cable, so what I did is just push it all the way through, get as much length as you can. Bloody hell. <sighs> Fucking hell. Yeah, it's 
probably best you install the fans last case fans this one anyway because uh, it really does get in the way uh, okay this can be quite difficult well yeah you can see what I'm trying to do hmm I have to take the case fan off if I very struggle. Let's see if I can do it without taking the case fan off. Uh, hopefully. Okay, let me leave the flush there. Right. So I'm going to try and maneuver this in this tight gap. Good luck to me. My god. That was a piss stick, guys. I had to take the fan off. But yeah, we finally got that in. It's bent, but it is what it is. <coughs> Everything in that corner is a very tight fit. Not happy about it, but there's not much I can do about that. Oh yeah, it's all in there now, finally. Fucking hell. But yeah, taking that back off is going to be very difficult. If ever so. Uh, they both clicked in place, I pushed them in. Definitely clicked, so should be okay. And uh, yeah, I'm going to install the fan back. Hopefully, it won't make any contact with the fan. This wire shouldn't rub against the fan. Yeah, it should be okay. That was a very tight fit. So look at that. Look how look at the millimeter gap, milli milli centimeter, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna reinstall this fan now. Fucking hell, guys! And then we're gonna put the motherboard one in next. And yeah, we'll work our way around. <laughs> Bloody hell! At this stage, I'm not even sure if the PC is gonna start. Just because of how everything bent, all the ways are bent as fuck. But yeah, let's give it a try. Okay, one second. I'm just gonna plug this. Oh, I need to screw all these back in. Alright, guys, fans reinstalled. So yeah, if you're struggling with that, just in take off your fan at the top if you have one, because it is a very tight fit. And yeah, should be cleared from that now. Yeah. So yeah, them cables are in. Good luck for me taking that back out ever again if I need to. Okay, motherboard wire literally goes into that socket there, the ATX socket. So I'm gonna take that now, that's the big one. Remember this thick one. So this one is gonna go through. Should we route it through this middle one? Yeah, I'm gonna go through this middle one. But there's quite a few wires that I can feel it, so I'm gonna try clean everything up on the back now. Okay, guys. So we pushed it through. Now, I'm pretty sure it only fits one way, so... <sighs> I have to pull this cable quite a bit, aren't we? Yeah, one second. Okay, guys, we've pushed that through quite a bit. <laughs> Don't know which way it's going to go. Uh, which way should we risk it, guys? It'll only fit in one way, but... A bendy one way, it's gonna be a struggle to get in the other way. I guess I'll flex this a bit, give it some muscle memory, and yeah, I think it's gonna be. Let's see, mm, that way, I think. So, how am I gonna do this now? Okay, I guess we're bending it fully. Oh, that's very bent. I'm not a big fan of bending it this much, but if you have to, you have to, you know. No way around that. That's just how the cables are. Oh, I don't say it's the wrong way now. It is, so... It's not that way. It needs to go the opposite way. Uh, I'm going to do this now. Bend in the other direction now. Oops. This cable is very hard to manage. Alright, I'm going to have to use two hands, guys. Alright, oh, guys, that's fine. In. That was a headache as well. So just keep pushing it side by side until it goes all the way in. That's in now. Bloody hell, that was a headache. I have to make sure I've not broken any of the other wires out. Like I've not took any wires out by accident while pushing these ones in. Bloody hell, this was a piss take of a PC to build. Oh, the case is good. Everything's just so tightly packed. What the hell, guys? Right. And I am a beginner, so... Probably not the best idea to 
you go straight into an expensive build being a beginner builder yeah that's pretty much it all right i also don't have a clue how on earth i'm gonna close this butter black back side up because how the hell is that gonna close up the case you know look how thick that cable is so yeah don't have a clue guys how we're gonna do this all right now well, all that's left is okay this SATA cable needs to be plugged in now into the bottom of this somewhere so we'll plug one of these SATAs in okay one second the most smart thing would be to do take this off but I don't want to mess with the ARGB wiring again so I'm just going to tilt the case and put plug in right we plugged one in not the best SATA cable it's not the best it does wobble a bit um, all this wiring is a bit of a mess as well so I don't know how we're going to do all this but yeah now from the power supply we can plug one of these SATAs in so that's what we're going to do right now plug this straight in bloody hell there's wires everywhere that's why I fucking hate wires, wires, wires. Oh my god, All right, I'm gonna need two hands for this again. All I'm doing is plugging this in on the bottom. Okay, that's on now. Everything's so bent though, I don't like it. Next one is, there was a SATA cable for this, this thing here. I'm just gonna shove it through here and plug it in from down there to the one inside here. So we've got first one in, we'll plug in this next one. Then these ones will be free. Okay, one second, guys. The next connection is plugged in, which is that ARGB board splitter. So that's plugged in now. So I need to clean this up, push everything in there. Everything's such a mess, guys. So anything excess, I'm just going to shove in the in, inside of there for now. Bloody hell, go in there you bastard This case is going to be very difficult to close, I can already tell But yeah, everything is pretty much done <sighs> Hopefully nothing's been unplugged by accident hmm. It's a mess back here though A very big mess What the fuck is all this shit now? It's plugged into the I'll unplug that and put it through here because that's just a big mess isn't it mm. all the wires are just fucked I'm not the best at cable managing obviously okay all these wires just shove them in there we're not using them at the moment <clears throat> fuck my life but yeah that's pretty much done now uh, yeah, I'll plug in and give it a start, I guess. Uh, <laughs> let's see if the case even fits on. Oh, yeah, I'll put this magnetic filter back on the top. Okay, that's back on. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this case will even fit. Like, close up, I don't know. It's gonna be a tough one. But yeah, we'll see. Okay, guys, one second. Yep guys, just as I thought, this motherboard ain't gonna close up. <laughs> it's quite a bloody mess. Alright. It's too much bulkiness in the bottom. Too much bulkiness in the bottom. So we need to sort that out somehow. I'm trying to think though, how the hell can we do that? Too much shit down here. No enough room down there to push stuff in. That's the problem. Now, guys. Fucking hell, that was a headache. I've had to take the caddies out just to make space for the fucking wires. It's this motherboard cable is too damn thick. Oops, sorry. The motherboard cable is too damn thick, guys. And yeah, I have to brute force the case on the back case. So 
hopefully he stays on and doesn't fling off and kill me. We had to really brute force that. There's no other way around it. So hopefully everything works. And I don't have to take the back cover off again because that was a mistake putting it on. <coughs> okay. Now I think everything's plugged in now, isn't it? Yeah. CPU cables are in, motherboard cables are in, all the other power cables are in. Okay, I think it's time, guys. I think it's time. Let's install. Not the glass case, we're just gonna power it up with the kettle cable. Uh, oh, we need it plugged into a TV though, so. Hmm, how do we do this? Oh wait, I'll just see if it spins up and works first of all. Okay guys, one second. Okay guys, wish me luck, hopefully it's done blow up. Or kill me or set the house on fire. Okay. Power switch is on. Stable for now. Okay. Press the power button. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, I can feel the cooler. Fans working. Everything's lighting up. Top ones are lighting up. MSI ones are lighting up. Oh, wait. These top ones aren't lighting up. That was a. Oh. PC shut down. Switch back on. Okay, I'm gonna shut it down for now. I think it's because we don't have anything plugged in. Okay. So now I'm gonna. <sighs> right, we call that success for now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to install the top cover, put the glass panel on, plug it into the TV, see if we can install windows onto it. But yeah, the top two fans, the RGB is not working. Why? I don't know. Hmm. We went through a lot of trouble to see that RGB working. And the day I'm working, so I don't know guys. Okay guys, uh, I think it might be this board to be fair, maybe it does need a SATA port there, SATA connection there, maybe, just maybe, we don't know, uh, is there a way to route one through there, there might be, but I'm not taking the back cover off again, can't be asked, too much effort, alright guys, stay tuned, I'm gonna check out my next video, bye.